A procession marks the beginning of every wedding ceremony. The processional often includes a combination of the wedding party, flower girls, ring bearers, and the bride and groom and their parents. If it is a religious or cultural event, there may be some unique elements included in the procession. In this video, we will look at some examples of processional orders. Traditional Wedding Processional Traditional wedding ceremonies are perfect for those who want to maintain a classic ambience through their wedding, but with the freedom to adjust certain things to their liking. We love this as it gives each ceremony its own uniqueness and can even show some of the couple's personality. While it may be a traditional style ceremony, there is some leeway in how your wedding party can enter the room. Capturing these types of ceremonies is always interesting, as you get to see the different ways the bridal party can enter, whether it is a more traditional style or with some fun flares. As with most processionals, it begins with the groom and immediate family, followed by the wedding party and flower girl, or ring bearer. The processional ends when the bride arrives at the end of the aisle. Alternative Traditional Wedding Processional We mentioned that while modern traditional ceremonies offer couples the flexibility to change up their processional, it also never hurts to keep things actually traditional either. Having a more conventional order to your ceremony can still be unique for guests. Like most ceremonies, the bride is always the last to enter before the officiant can begin with the more formal events of the ceremony. Wedding Processional Hindu processionals are some of the most fun, beautiful, and visually stunning events that we've experienced and captured. The most eventful portion of a Hindu processional is the arrival of the groom, also known as the Bharat. With the groom arriving on a ceremonial white horse, the live music, dancing and cheering truly shows that this is a grand celebration. The live music played helps to set the mood for the rest of the event that is often upbeat and lively. The two families come together in the end to welcome each other and celebrate this new bond together. Once the groom has been welcomed in, there are also a number of smaller ceremonial events that happen once the bride has joined them under the mandap.
Christian Wedding Processional. In more modern Christian weddings, it is becoming more common to have the groom walk down the aisle as well, which we love, as it's his day just as much as hers. Christian wedding processionals are typically very similar to the traditional ceremonies, with a key difference being that certain religious elements, such as the readings, sermon, prayers, and unity ceremony, are more standard and there is normally a set processional order in which to follow. If there are family members you want to commemorate who aren't in the wedding party, you can also choose to have them go down the aisle before the wedding party. 